please be advised that there is a big difference in being ready for marriage and being ready to date. Just because you're a good dater doesn't mean you'll be a good wife. Just because you would be a good wife doesn't mean that you're ready to plunge into the dating world, okay? Take it from me. <laughs> Greetings, royals. It is Constance with QueenLeMe.com, the place where singles are not only learning to live a successful single life, but we're also learning how to love and pursue our purposes the right way, okay? Sorry for the glare on my glasses, but I just feel like it's the whole thing. It's a, it doesn't look the same. Like, it's not the same. <laughs> We're back. Okay, anyways. So this is going to sound kind of off, but that's why I felt like I needed to make a video about it because it's not something that is even talked about, number one, or is even noticed by anybody. So about a year ago, I took a marriage readiness quiz. The one by Ashley Empowers. She is amazing. Y'all go check out her channel. I took the quiz and it said I was ready like 100%. And I was kind of surprised because at the time, there were still some things that I had insecurities about. I was well aware of them. Then after taking that quiz and being like, oh, I dove into the dating world and that is when I realized, no, 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 this is what I'm not ready for. Is there a dating readiness quiz? And so oddly enough, I realized that I was ready for marriage, but I wasn't ready for dating. And it sounds kind of backwards, but it is possible And this is why. I was ready for marriage because I know what marriage requires. I know what it takes to create and maintain a healthy, godly marriage. I know what my deal breakers and my non-negotiables are. I know who I am. I know what I have to offer. But I wasn't ready to date because I was not happy and content as a single person. And I know that all of the single people that are watching this right now have a deep roll, like all the way to the back. Because it's something that we hear all the time. And to be honest, when I was a little more foolish, you know, like two years ago, I would get really annoyed by people saying that. Like, oh, when you're not expecting it, that's when it's going to happen. Oh, when you don't need it, that's when it'll come. Oh, just enjoy your single life and everything will fall into place. I got so annoyed with that because when you want something and you honestly are insecure enough to think that a relationship will fill the holes and the void in your life, then you just want it. And you want it now. You don't care what it takes. You'll do whatever needs to be done. And people are like, oh, just figure out who you are and, and be content with where you are now. Uh, that sounds like the opposite of what I'm trying to accomplish. <laughs> but once I started to really get an understanding of what it takes to be not only in a healthy relationship, but to be a healthy individual in a healthy relationship. I did start to become more content. I started to cherish my singleness more. I started to not rush the process because I was faced with everything I still needed to work on. And being in that place allows you to date better because you're not dating from a place of desperation. You're not dating because you feel like you need to in order to be happy or live a good life. You're able to be more relaxed and confident and upfront during the process of dating and getting to know someone. You can state your intentions right out the gate without being afraid that you're gonna run them off because you know what you need and if you're not bringing that, then shoo shoo. When you have a good life before something, you're not afraid to lose things because I was just fine before you got here and if you leave, I'll be okay then too. 
You'll also be less willing to waste your time with people who aren't right for you because when you enjoy your single life, it raises the bar for the people that you choose to spend your time with. Like, do not take me away from my good single time with myself because I enjoy being with myself. You know, I have a great time. Don't take me away from that good me time just to be a flop. As soon as we feel like we are wasting our time, we can't allow that to happen. You will become a pro at pinpointing signs and red flags almost immediately because you were not willing to end this good single life that you have built for yourself where you are 100% happy, fulfilled, content, purposeful, just to be with someone who is going to take that down a few notches. You have to be some great, wonderful, God-sent person in order for me to end my singleness, to come and be in a relationship with you. I always say that it should be harder to get into a relationship than it is for you to be single. I know that being single can be tough sometimes. It can be very lonely. People say to busy yourself with your goals, your financial goals, and all this other stuff. But there are some singles who have enough money and they have a home and they travel as much as they want and they're really just tired of doing all alone and I get that I honestly do but please be advised that there is a big difference in being ready for marriage and being ready to date they are not one and the same just because you're a good dater doesn't mean you'll be a good wife and just because you would be a good wife doesn't mean that you're ready to plunge into the dating world, okay? Take it from me. <laughs> I'm just going to say what annoys us so much, but being single, to be honest, is the easy part. I've been surrounded with couples who are doing it the right way and they um, have a good sense of self they are healthy, they are godly, and they have healthy relationships and happy relationships. And it's still so, so hard. It is very challenging. I know that we want our knight in shining armor to come up and swoop us from this godforsaken single life. But just make sure that if and or when that happens, that you are actually ready to date him and also date him with the intention of marriage. If you have made it to this point in the video, give me a thumbs up. If you like these kind of topics, let me know so I can do more of them. You can follow us at queenly.me. You can follow me at Constance B. Gordon if you want. Subscribe to this channel for more topics on being successfully single, while learning love and pursuing purpose. Please share this with one of your single friends because the best thing for a single to know is that they're not alone. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you same place next time.